tonight. How dangerous is the air we breathe? So just how at risk are we and our families? Well, I'd like to find out. So over the next few days, I'm going to wear one of these. It's an air pollution monitor and it'll show exactly what I'm breathing in and just how safe or otherwise it is. Connor Phillips moved from Belfast to Manchester a year ago. He works as a radio DJ in Leeds and commutes around 100 miles a day in his high-powered diesel car. So we get up in the morning, get in the car, drive to Leeds. There, when you're coming up over the M62, it's a lovely point where, the, where everything breaks open. You're in the middle of, of a mountain. Beautiful view on a clear day. It's amazing. But you do always see a haze. And I don't know, is that haze part of the pollution problem? Is that clouds? CO2 is the thing that I think I hear about all the time, but as I've learned, there are different types of emissions, different types of things that get into the car, that get into your system, that get into your bloodstream. I don't know. I have to be honest, and it's one of the reasons I wanted to do this study. I wanted to find out what is the situation. I don't think the average Joe on the road knows either. The UK has been exceeding legal limits for nitrogen dioxide in 16 different cities and regions since 2010. I think one of the main reasons I got involved with this study was the fact that I was going running in Manchester and coming back wheezing. And whenever I changed it to the gym, I noticed I wasn't wheezing as much. So now that I have my meter, I think I'm going to try and see what it's like on the roads for a quick run. Our monitors recorded the black carbon we were breathing in. It comes from diesel fumes, and where levels of black carbon are high, so are levels of nitrogen dioxide. The moment of truth, our results are in. First of all, we'll start with uh, Connor. You presumably leave the house uh, around uh, one o'clock and you're driving for the next hour or so. Yeah. And as you can see in the traffic sitting in your car, you're being exposed to increasing amounts of uh, pollution. You then come home, I guess, and, and go out for a jog. Yeah. And it seems as if some of that uh, route also was along traffic routes. Yeah. So you're getting quite high exposures. You can see some of these peaks are near, well, they're higher or nearly as high as some of the maximum peaks. And that's the scary bit there, car. to know that my jogging peak is almost the same as my peak being stuck in traffic. Connor's graph shows he's most exposed to pollution whilst driving. But surprisingly, when out running, he's breathing in similar amounts. Now, if you'd like more information on tonight's programme, please visit our website at itv.com slash tonight. Until next time, good evening and thanks for watching.